Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The television show Sister Wives is expected to return for the following season. However, before their lives become a topic of public discussion once more, several members of the Brown family gathered for a small reunion to honor the memory of the late Garrison Brown, the Brown family, consisting of Cody Brown's offspring from Mary Brown, Janelle Brown, Christine Brown, and Robin Brown, has experienced more disunity in recent years due to significant upheaval in their life. Before the broadcast of Sister Y season 19, the family has united in a heartwarming manner, with the inclusion of certain members who have been absent. The previous seasons of Sister Wives primarily depicted the departure of Christine, Janelle, and Mary from Cody after a marriage lasting more than 30 years. However, the forthcoming season of the show will center around a more weighty subject. In Sister Wives Season 17, Christine made the decision to end her marriage with Cody due to its unpredictable and challenging nature. However, she did not anticipate that Janelle and Mary would also choose to end their marriages. In the early episodes of Sister Wives season 18, Janelle and Cody have a contentious dispute, leading to their separation. Meanwhile, Mary's marriage to Cody had been gradually declining for several years before she ultimately decided to leave. Several Brown family members reunited for a 4th of July trip. Following a challenging year, the Brown family has been maximizing their time together, which included a holiday trip where Christine, Janelle, and several of the Brown children gathered. While most of the Brown children did not join the 4th of July excursion, there were some unexpected individuals that joined the enormous gathering, which is not typically seen in public. Janelle, Christine, David Woolley, and several of the Brown kids were in attendance. The expedition comprised of Savannah Brown, Aspen Brown Thompson, Gwendolyn Brown, Trudy Brown, Isabel Brown, Maddie Brush, and Leon Brown, accompanied by several of their respective partners. The Brown family has been more connected after tragedy. It was unexpected for sister wise watchers to witness the extensive presence of the family, including Leon and their spouse, Audrey Chris, during the trip. While there has been some detachment between the Brown family in recent years, the tragedy of Garrison's death has pulled the family close together again, especially in difficult situations. Celebrating a holiday together, the Browns on the trip were able to lean on each other during a day that reminds many of their youth, their childhood, and their family of origin. In the months since Garrison's passing, the Browns have been significantly more bonded. Some of the Browns memorialized Garrison with matching tattoos. Although the bulk of the Browns have been memorializing Garrison, some of the siblings have shared a quote online and now have been allowed to remember their brother with a symbolic tattoo. Using a quotation from the 1996 film Dragonheart, several of the Brown siblings received memorial tattoos for Garrison, getting inked with to the stars on their bodies. Janelle had published images of Gabe Brown's tattoo in the past, and in their tribute post for Garrison, Leon commented their photos of their brother with the same statement. The sister wives family has been maintaining close and going on together. A lot is going on in Janelle Brown's life. The sister wives star has encountered various hardships over the years. Despite leaving Cody Brown in 2022, her difficulties didn't end there. In March 2024, Janelle's son Garrison Brown tragically died by apparent suicide, leaving a tremendous grief in everyone's hearts. While he stays in their memory, Janelle has been seen trying to move forward. Sister Wives fans have long regarded Janelle as a career lady. Now, it seems she's working on making all her dreams come true, whether it's spending more time with her kids or creating a business focused around her favorite activity, Janelle is making significant steps. Recently, a fan disclosed a stunning revelation about Janelle's life that left many admirers startled. So, what's Janelle's new big thing? Let's find out. Sister Wives, is Janelle living in North Carolina? Sister Wives star Janelle Brown 
regularly keeps her followers updated about the newest occurrences in her life, whether it's her trip to Las Vegas for a plexus convention or a family vacation to Yellowstone. However, there might be certain things that Janelle hasn't mentioned yet. In a recent post on their Patreon account, Michael T. Brown and her husband, Tony Patron, disclosed something. It were the reasons behind their quick move to North Carolina. While completing their session, Michael T. expressed her satisfaction about being close to Janelle's household. Tony then revealed that Janelle was also living there. This seemed to be an unintended admission as Michael T. swiftly reminded Tony he wasn't supposed to say that. This slip-up suggests that Janelle might have moved to North Carolina, leaving her home in Flagstaff, Arizona. This is odd, because Janelle recently opened a floral business registered in Flagstaff. It seems this knowledge was meant to be kept under wraps, maybe for a huge announcement in the upcoming season of Sister Wives. Fans are thrilled about this development. One Sister Wives fan said, I think Janelle could easily have a place in NC and split her time between Flagstaff and not really say she moved, but also basically living there more frequently and longer spurts of time. Another wrote, everything Janelle has said on her social media was that she still lived in Flagstaff as her main hub and seemed to be constantly traveling as well. But her moving to NC permanently would make sense depending on what Savannah and Gabe are doing. Sister Wives, Janelle Brown owns a business in Flagstaff. After parting from Cody, Janelle is now pursuing her aspirations and attaining new heights. The Sister Wives star is spending time with her family while turning her beloved pastimes into profitable career enterprises. Janelle, known for her passion for gardening, is currently working on a small-cut flower company. According to recent reports, she has filed corporate forms to build a flower farm in Flagstaff. Fans always knew that Janelle has always revealed her dreams about gardening and farming. Thus, this can be her making her dreams come true. A Reddit thread gave more insights, revealing a screenshot of the sister Y Star's flower business, Tata Farms. The official trademark page displays Janelle as the only owner, with Lee Freeman as her attorney. The application was apparently filed on February 28, 2024. It's been quite some time since Sister Wise viewers first learned Christine Brown wanted to leave Cody. The breakup was riddled with multiple low points, including Cody's infamous knife in the kidneys comment. Thankfully, Christine is in a much healthier headspace and relationship today. Fans adored witnessing her televised wedding to David Woolley. The couple usually go on pleasant adventures together, which is something Christine admitted she rarely did with Cody. Now, the Sister Wives star is reflecting on the darkest moments of her breakup and disclosing the musical artist that supported her through the terrible times. Christine Brown Woolley has tickets to see her favorite artist. Sister Wives fans know Christine Brown Woolley as the happy, bubbly one. That's why few seemed astonished to realize how much she adores pop music, including the artist PNK. We're going to see Pink, so friggin' stoked. A David underscore underscore Woolley has seen her two times already. I have an uplifting playlist that I would listen to every single morning in Flagstaff, and her songs comprised a majority of that playlist. The TLC star shared on Instagram recently. Fans shared their joy for Christine and David, leaving remarks including, You're gonna love it. Be aware though, this will set your concert bar very high. All others will pale in comparison. On lucky duck. <sighs> Seeing her is on my bucket list. Hope you have a fantastic time. Pristine, you are going to love her. I've seen her three times and she is one of a frickin' kind. Your life is about to be eternally changed. Just saw her last Wednesday in Amsterdam. She puts on one great show. Thanks for watching if you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.